most of the longevity supplements and drugs fail. They don't show any actual longevity benefits in animals, not to mention humans. But there are a handful of these very basic compounds that promote longevity in multiple ways. Without further ado, here's the holy trinity of longevity supplements. Do it! If you remember one of my previous videos, then I did go through this uh, big recent study about glycine and anti-aging and longevity. Glycine has the longevity benefits by increasing autophagy and mimicking methionine restriction. So it's quite important to balance your methionine and glycine in terms of preventing the rise of homocysteine and methionine toxicity and glycine supplementation mimics methionine restriction. Glycine is also one of the rate limiting amino acids in synthesizing glutathione which is the body's master antioxidant that protects against you know oxidative stress and you know bolsters your body against the oxidative stress and inflammation that you see from aging and they do find that glynac so supplementing glycine and N-acetylcysteine has been found to extend the lifespan of uh, mice by up to 24%. In humans, glynac supplementation reduces the hallmarks of aging and uh, improves just, you know, the health span. Glynac supplementation in older adults for 16 weeks was safe and well tolerated. Compared to younger adults, older adults had glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, endothelial dysfunction, insulin resistance, multiple aging hallmarks, impaired physical function, increased waist circumference, and systolic blood pressure. Glynac and not placebo supplementation in older adults improved or corrected these defects and these effects have also been shown in other human adults so uh, glynac just because of increasing glutathione levels can have you know quite an important role in uh, healthy aging glutathione is the body's master antioxidant deficient glutathione increases oxidative stress that contributes to age-related diseases and neurodegeneration supplementing with cysteine and glycine can fix the glutathione deficiency Glycine, cysteine, and glutamine make up glutathione, and glutathione synthesis is rate limited by glycine. Now, you need about 3 grams of glycine for daily glutathione synthesis, and most people generally eat only around 3 to 5 grams of glycine from diet, and their body makes around 3 grams of glycine itself as well endogenously. So, if you have the 3 grams the body makes itself, and the three grams usually people get from diet, then only three grams will be enough to cover the three gram demand for synthesizing creatine, glutathione, and heme by glycine. However, there is an additional requirement for 12 grams of glycine for collagen synthesis and collagen turnover. So if you're not really, you know, increasing your glycine intake or you're not eating a lot of glycine and you're not supplementing glycine, for example, then you're almost at a 12 gram deficit in terms of glycine. That's why I think that supplementing some glycine and boosting the glutathione with NAC as well is just a, such an easy, you know, combo to do. And uh, it has many benefits in terms of increasing your glutathione levels and managing inflammation levels. Glycine alone has many other benefits that you can check out from my other previous video. But the short description about glycine is that it boosts glutathione, it increases creatine synthesis, it has benefits for inflammation, oxidative stress, lowering blood sugar levels, protecting against advanced glycation end products, and many other things like improved sleep. So glycine is pretty much like a universal supplement that I think most people would benefit from. It has little to no side effects aside from like a headache or low blood sugar levels, and all the benefits are quite immense in terms of the glutathione, the collagen synthesis, and it yeah, it's just some sort of something that you know many people can just add to their diet quite easily the body makes three grams a day and many people just get three to five grams from diet at minimum you need 15 grams of glycine so most people would generally benefit from supplementing like 10 grams of glycine a day nice this brings me to the third supplement on the holy trinity which is creatine like i said glycine also supports creatine synthesis Creatine is synthesized in the liver and pancreas from the amino acids arginine, glycine, and methionine. In glycine-deficient animals, muscle creatine content is quite low, and supplementing glycine has been seen to raise creatine levels. Creatine is one of the oldest and most researched supplements in the world. It has many proven benefits for muscle strength, muscle performance, and muscle mass. However, creatine also has many anti-aging and longevity benefits such as neuroprotection, methylation support. Obviously, the muscle mass and muscle strength are also quite vital for healthy aging. And when it comes to life extension, then at least in mice, uh, the uh, the ones that the mice that got creatine they had a 9% higher survival than the control mice. Creatine has many neuroprotective and atherosclerotic protective effects as well, so it just improves your brain function, 
prevents or protects against neurodegeneration and uh, atherosclerosis and heart disease as well in many ways. And when you're older, then your creatine levels decrease, your muscle mass decreases, which is a huge risk factor for mortality and hip fractures and immobility and all those things. You don't want to lose your mobility. You don't want to lose your muscle strength and muscle mass with age. Those are quite critical. One of the biggest predictors of uh, longevity and mortality is your muscle mass. And creatine, just by increasing your body's fossil creatine stores and improving muscle strength is a longevity supplement from that side. And from the neurological side or the brain side, then yeah, creatine slows down or protects against uh, brain aging and it just improves cognition as well. So as you can see these three supplements creatine, glycine and NAC they have kind of you know even supportive effects of each other. First of all glycine supports creatine synthesis and both glycine and NAC support glutathione synthesis so they all work kind of synergistically and the best of all is that they're all pretty cheap they're very easily available and everyone can pretty much take them if you've ever played like video games then there's also the concept of the holy trinity which describes three different roles of characters that there are so there's the tank which is kind of the one that soaks up all the damage and you know is the one that is kind of the shield of the group NAC is kind of the tank of the Holy Trinity that it boosts your glutathione levels and it protects your immunity so to say. Glycine is like the healer so glycine like supports healing in many ways, cools down, reduces inflammation, reduces blood sugar, those kind of things supports the tank and creatine is the damage. Creatine is the damage dealer, kind of the muscle of the group and all of them work synergistically and with all these three supplements you're covering pretty much all the meaningful, the most meaningful, most impactful aspects of aging and health span, which are the physical function, the motor motor function, the muscle strength, muscle mass. Then you have the neuroprotective effects of both the glutathione and the creatine. You have immunity, you have metabolic health, all those things, body composition, and they work pretty well synergistically. And I think that they can be used as a staple for any like a longevity supplement stack. If you do want to slow down aging, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at seamland.com and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.